Hi, this is Munson with Munson Music, and we're going to talk about how you could strum through a, a Brad Paisley song called Water. And I really kind of considered doing this without the capo, but I think the easiest way out is to kind of capo it up. So we'll talk about how we're going to capo it for, for key in a moment. But we're going to start out our intro on a C major chord. And the way you play C major, first finger is going to go to the B string on the first fret. Second finger is going to go to the D string on the second fret. And third finger is going to go to the A string on the third fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds a C major chord, and it sounds really, really happy. And then from the C major chord in the intro, we're going to go into a G major chord. And the way you play G major, first finger is going to go to the A string on the second fret. Second finger is going to go low E on the third fret. And third finger is going to go to the high E on the third fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds a G major chord and it sounds really, really happy. And a lot of times, like with a song like this, to make it a little bit more interesting, I like adding something called a strum pattern. And one of my favorite strum patterns for a 4-4 like this is down, down, up, up, down, up. So if you just took the C and just tried that a lot, you'd have down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. So you want to do that a lot to kind of get your right hand used to it. And if we try that through our intro, we got C, down, up, up, down, up, G, down, up. around that actually that you could kind of add uh, and this is weird because what we'll be capo in this later on but but you start out on the D string kind of play an open D and then do a hammer on the second fret and then we're gonna do the same thing on the G string kind of play an open and doing a hammer on the second fret and then playing first fret on the B string and then doing a big C chord so we got O2 O2 In the background through that intro, actually, there's some really cool arpeggio licks. And what an arpeggio is, is where you break up the chord. So rather than doing the whole C, if you wanted to, you could kind of play the A string on third, and then B string twice, and then G string open, and then A string, G string, B string twice, and then G string open, and then third fret on the A, and then open G, and then first fret on the B. And I'm actually kind of doing that hybrid picking. So I'm using my, my pick as, as kind of my bass player for the A string notes and then using my, my, my middle finger and my ring finger to kind of play the, the G and the B strings. So you got A, B, B, G, A, G, B, B, G, A, G, B. And then we can almost do that same thing, but just changing the, the, the low E bass to, to third fret to kind of imply the G chord. So it's almost like that's in the background through, through our intro where we got the C chord arpeggio. Be something else you want to kind of try and add through the tune but then when we get to our verse part we, we start on the C major and then we're gonna to go to G major and then we go back to C major but then we go to an F major chord and we'll talk about a really easy substitute in a minute but if you know the full bar F you do your first finger across the entire first fret second finger on the G string on the second fret third finger on the A string on the third fret and the pinky on the D string on the third fret and if you strum all those together, that sounds an F major chord and it sounds really, really happy. But a lot of times if you're just starting out or you just want to kind of avoid the bar chords, you can actually substitute in something called an F major 7. And the way you play F major 7, first finger is going to go to the B string on the first fret, second finger on the G string on the second fret, and third finger on the D string on the third fret. And if you strum just the D, G, B, and E, kind of the skinny four strings, that'll get you a clear sound at, and that's called F major 7. And then from the F, we're going to be going to an A minor chord. And the way you play A minor, first finger is going to kind of stay on the B string, first fret. Second finger is going to go to the D string on the second fret. And third finger on the G string on the second fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds an A minor chord. And it sounds really, really sad. And then from the A minor chord, we're going to be going to a B flat major chord. And we'll talk about a really easy way to play this. But if you know the bar B flat major, you do your first finger across the entire first fret. Second finger on the D string on the third fret. Third finger on the G string on the on, on the third fret, pinky on the B string on the third fret, and if you strum all those together, that sounds a B flat major chord. But I know for myself, actually, rather than using two, three, and four, actually, a lot of times what I'll do is take my third finger and kind of put them over the D, G, and B, and kind of work it as a double bar instead. But a lot of times with the bar chords, though, you can take the skinny strings and kind of make a smaller chord. So another way to play B flat major is to go first finger on the high E on the first fret pinky on the B string on the 3rd fret, and 3rd finger on the G string on the 3rd fret. And if you strum just the top 3 or the top 4 strings, that's still a B flat major chord. And if you're 
little bit more adventurous. <laughs> you can take the second finger and kind of put them in on the D string on the third fret, kind of make it a little bit thicker B flat major. And then from the B flat, we're going to be going to F major, and then going back to C major, and then kind of ending our verse on another C major. And there's almost like a big build up on that last C where you do kind of down, 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 down and kind of kill it with your strings. But if we try the verse with our strum pattern, the weird part is when we get to the B flat F, that those two chords are kind of half. So what you want to do is do just a down, down up on each of those chords. So when we get to that part, we'll have B flat with a down, down up, F with a down, down up, when we get to that spot. But just to try the verse with our strum pattern, you have C with down, down up, up, down, G, down, down up. Up, down, C, down, down, up, up, down, up, F, down, down, up, up, down, B minor, down, down, up, up, down, B flat, down, down, up, F, down, down, C, down, down, up, up, down, C, down, 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 down. And then we kind of start our verse again, so actually we'd be doing that same thing until we get to our chorus. And on the chorus, actually, we're going to be taking a lot of those chords and mixing them up. And we have more of the halving chords. So what we're going to end up doing for a lot of, of our chords is doing just down, down, up. So we end up doing that, that for, for the F to, to a C, so, and then from G to C. So if we try that through our chorus, we have F with down, down, up, C, down, down, G, down, down, up, C, down, down, up, F, down, down, up, C, down, down, G, down, down, up, up, down, up, F, down, down, C, down. G down, down, up, A minor, down, up, and then we have a B flat with the whole strum pattern, B flat, down, up, up, down, being kind of an F, down, up, and then a G with a down, and you can kind of do the killing thing on that too. And then we're basically just going to be mixing that up until we get to, to our, our solo part, which is very much like our verse part. So on our solo, we got C, down, up, up, down, G, down, down, up, up, down, A minor, down, down, up. Up, down, F, down, down, up, up, down, A minor, down, down, up, up, down, B flat, down, down, up, F, down, down, C, down, down, up, up, down, C, down, down, up, up, down, up. So, so basically, we'll just be repeating a lot of those parts. Now, one other weird thing, like I mentioned, instead of starting on a C major chord, Brad Paisley's actually starting on an F major chord. So if you want to play along with the recording, what you want to do is take a capo, and if you put the capo on 5th fret, then your C chord is really an F major chord, and your G major chord is really a C major chord, and your F major chord is really a B flat major chord, and then your A minor is really a D minor chord, and your B flat major is really an E flat major chord, when we get to that one. So if we tried that through our, from our intro, you'd still have kind of your opening loop we were talking about, that 0 2, 0 2, 1, C chord. And if you wanted to, you could do the arpeggios on that part. Just to kind of imply those chords. Or you could just kind of do the strumming. So if we tried that with our strum pattern, we have C down, up, up, down, G down, down, up, up, down, C down, down, up, up, down, G down, down, up, up, down, up. And then we'd be to our verse part. So we got our C down, up, up, down, G down. Kind of start our verse again. So we got our C down, up, up, down, G down, down, up, up, down, C down, down, up, up, down, F down, down, up, up, down, A minor down, down, up, up, down, B flat down, down, up, F down, down, C down, down, up, up, down, C down, down, up, up, down, up. And then we'd be to our chorus part. So we got our F down, C down, down, G down, down, C down, down, up, F down. to our verse part. So we got our C down up, up down, G down, down up, up down, C down, down up, up down, F down, down up, up down, A minor down, down up, up down, B flat down, down up, F down, down, C down, down up, up down, C down, down up, up down up. And then we'd be on 
our solo part. So we got our C down, up, up, down, G down, down, up. So we got our F down, C down, down, up, F down, down, G down, down, up, F down, down, C down, down, G down, down, up, up, down, F down, down, C down, down, G down, down, A minor down, down, B flat down, down, up, up, down, F down, down, G down, down, and kind of big And then we'd be back on our verse part. So we got our C down, up, up, down, G down, down, up. of our last verse and on our last verse it's almost like just downs on each one and in the background you can kind of hear Brad Paisley kind of kind of muting the strings and kind of just kind of doing some down notes. So what you could do is kind of do a C major with kind of a down and then do some muting and then we do a G chord and then do muting and then we got a C and then kind of muting and then we got an F kind of doing the muting and then it's almost like he picks it back up on the strum pattern when we hit the A minor. So we got our A minor down, up, up, down, B flat down, down, up, down, 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 C down, down, up, up, down, up, C down, down, up, up, down, up. And then we get to our, our outro uh, solos, which are very much like our verse two. So we got C down, up, up, down, G down, down, up. there but I think I'd play a big C chord at the very 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 end. But a couple other things you may want to try kind of kind of adding to it is a lot of times I like adding something called bass notes to the chord and what I mean by that is on that first down of the down down up up down you could add in a bass note. So for instance on the C chord you could do the A string for the bass and then do a down up up down up. So C with an A bass down up up down C with an A bass down up up down C with an A bass down up up down and then on the G chord you got a low E string with your bass. part is where we got our B flat F we just got enough time to do a bass down up on those chords so we tried it that way we got C with an A bass down up up down G with low E bass down up up down C with an A bass down up up down F with a bass down up up another A minor with an A bass down up up down B flat with a bass down up F with a bass down C with an A bass down up up down C with an A bass down up that through our chorus then we really only got enough time to do a bass down up on a lot of our chords so we have f with the bass down c with the a bass down g with louis bass down c with the a bass down f with the bass down c with the a bass down g with louis bass down up up down f with the bass down c with the a bass down g with louis bass down a minor with the a bass down b flat with the bass down up up down f with the bass down up and then kind of that g chord you know which chorus it is. I was kind of taking the first chorus as kind of an example. So that may be something you want to try and add. Something else you may want to try is doing something more like a traditional country feel. Because of the bass line through this tune actually at different points, it, it completely sounds like a traditional country feel. And a traditional country feel does a root and then a down up and then the fifth of the chord in the bass and then a down up. 
So what I mean by that is like on the C chord, for instance, the C note is kind of what we're, we're aiming for, thinking on the A string with the capo, we're actually playing an F. But, but then if you go up five notes from a C note, C, D, E, F, G is the other note that kind of gets added in the bass line. So one, one way to do that, the G note would normally be on the low E string on the third fret. So you could do the A string on the third for your bass, and then a down up, and then take your third finger and move him to the low E string on the third fret for the fifth of the chord, and do another down up. So you got root on the A, down up, fifth on the low E, down up, third on the A, down up, third on the low E, down up, third on the A, down up, low E on the third, down up. Now then when we get to our G chord, your low E string would be your bass, or your root, and then your D string's the fifth. So you got low E root, down up, D string fifth, down up, low E root, down up, D string fifth, low E root, D string for the fifth. And then when we get to our F chord, actually if you're if you're doing the bar F, you'd have the low E string for your root, and then the A string would be your fifth. So low E root, down up, A string. Seven, though, you could kind of work that, that same kind of idea that we were doing on the C by taking the, the third fret on the D string and then moving the third fret on the A string. So you got D on the third, down up, A string on the third, down up, D on the third, down up, A string on the third. And then when we get to our B flat major chord, if you're doing the bar one, you'd have the A string for the root and then the low E for the fifth. A string on the, on the first, low E on the, on the first. You got to kind of work an A string, E string. Although we really only have enough time with the halfing to do the root down up um, on, that, on that particular chord. And then when we get to the A minor chord, you'd have the A string for your root, and then the low E string would be your fifth. A string root, low E fifth, A string root, low E fifth. So we tried that through our verse. We'd have the C with the A bass, low E third on the bass, G with the low E bass, D string for the fifth, C with an A string for the root, low E on the third for the fifth, F with a low E or root. A minor with an A bass, and then low E bass, and then the B flat with a root, down up F with a root, down up C with an A bass, down up fifth, down up C. So I know that can be a little weird just to work it that way. And when we get to our chorus, actually, we kind of get to do a, a lot of the halfing. So we're really, anytime you got the halfing in the country feel, you're just doing a root down up on those chords. So through our chorus, you got F with a bass, down up C with an A bass, down up G with a low E bass, down up C with an A bass, down up F with a bass, down up C with an A bass, down up G with a low E root, the D string for the fifth, F with a root, down up C with an A bass, down up G with a low E bass, down up A minor with an A bass, down up B flat with a root, down up fifth, down up F with a low E root. Taking that first chorus as an example. So that might be something else you want to try and add. Um, through that through that chorus part. Now something else that, that may if you're really, really quick about it. <laughs> <laughs> with that country feel, you can almost get two chords to fit in the time of one. So what, what, what I mean by that is if you're quick enough, you, you can actually do, do kind of, instead of doing one chord on everything, you can do two chords on everything or, or two patterns. So your verse could get expanded. You, you could have like kind of a C, C, G, G, C, C, F. with the recording that can be a, a little bit more difficult so then if we tried that through your chorus kind of doing the two you'd have to have that whole country feel on each of the chords now that, that we were having so you have f with a root down a fifth down f with a, and then c with a root down a fifth down of g with low e root down a fifth down c with an a bass down a fifth down a f with a low e root fifth and then c with a root fifth and then g with low e root Be 
something else you want to try, but you really got to get kind of quick at the country field to kind of work that. But that's the basics of how you would strum through water by Brad Paisley. So good luck.